all right what is going on everybody <laughs> welcome for the first time or back to another dlj works video and given in the times that we're in right now the this current situation and circumstances what seems to be a crisis i see nothing more of the opportunity my faith in god jesus christ helps me out a lot in giving me that foundation but and that's the most important thing for me first and foremost second thing is is just being able now to see the opportunities even in dark times and what i actually see going on right now is we're about to have a web design and development renaissance and what do i actually mean by having this renaissance well people there, there's several things that's happening all right let's go to the next slide very bare bones presentation here but i wanted to provide some text so y'all could actually see what i'm talking about people are losing their jobs currently at my company that we're that i'm working for i'm the web design developer here i manage our websites here at hornet signs developing hornet media but we also have some hourly employees and we had to do some some current cutbacks at this moment and people in the service industry restaurants other places um, i live in the city of waco and they actually had to do some they had to close their doors for now because of these local mandates and when things get back to whatever the new normal is going to be i have no idea which i'm gonna touch on that in the third bullet point what are people going to do so what that what, what's going on because of this crisis at this moment in time well people are losing their jobs and, and i'm praying that things don't get so bad to where we have these riots and people start having these knee-jerk reactions social media is going to be because social media pulls on people's heartstrings to want to post the dumbest stuff and the insight fear more it's not the government it's going to be people and their very fearful state to cause them to react instead of responding properly to these things and they're not doing nothing more but furthering a lot of the fear that's going on so uh we'll, we'll see what happens i'm praying that things don't get worse but you know I, i'm very optimistic and very hopeful regardless people are at home indefinitely most people see this as a good and bad thing if you're a social butterfly very extrinsic uh you need the extrinsic social interaction you, you're going to this may make you depressed for somebody like me who who can play both fields i can be introverted and extroverted naturally i'm introverted i guess but i don't even consider myself an introvert because i can i can't stay in the house and just do work and not think about the outside but i like to be extro extroverted too i like to be social i like to be with people i like to talk and make these connections and relationships face to face so i'm old school in that way but i could play both sides of the field but this is a huge opportunity right now at this moment you only got you got two options you got you got well you're not two you got several options right now and now is not the time to wallow in despair now is the time to be prayerful and to get to work get to work you know uh, even if you're not a christian you, you, if you're going to go off your own ability get to work that that's the biggest thing right now but but how do you get to work what what can you do at this moment in time before we even go into the third slide with that let me go ahead and talk about the third bullet point we're really about to go virtual from 2020 and beyond like life as we know it and from the last decade the last decade was probably the last time that we were going to really experience the the certain i want to say freedoms the, the, the certain type of growth that we was actually having and, and the way that we were just doing things there's always been a push for doing more stuff online and doing more stuff on the internet but now that's even more about to ramp up as we sort of start having this dependency now on being able to do things just now just straight connected on the internet and with the rise of 5g and other technologies it's about to get real but this is not like i said it's not a time to despair now is a time to really start growing your skill level so this is a time now that many people are going to have to consider who used to be bartenders waiters waitresses working these low tier jobs you know either they're going to really um do several things they're going to do several things right now at this moment so let's see what they're going to do let's go to actually let's jump to four okay you're going to be faced with many different options which is what i mentioned earlier you're going to either depend on the government <laughs> wallow in despair or develop trade tech skills and get to work most people who don't have much of an education who've already told themselves that i can't i'm not smart i can't really with this fixed mindset i'm not smart i can't do anything new i'm worthless i'm no good when in reality you're much you're a part of a bigger plan that's in play 
okay you're in, you're in a you're you're very important you're very important to god you're very important to society you have a lot to contribute you have to understand that and you do play a role like what you do affects other people we all have this this ability to have this very small ripple effect in the world and you have to understand that but for those people who just feel like they just they're they, they're not smart they can't do anything that's not my forte they've already told themselves this and the one thing that they could do is just do crime or just depend on the government Th that's what they're going to do um and then that's an unfortunate state of affairs and i can't really even speak on that you know i know the government right now we've been forced in a position to do exactly what andrew yang has been pushing for with this universal basic income of getting a thousand dollars now we've been pushed into that position so all the debates about oh this universal income is that really good for me right now is that really good for society it's gonna make everybody just lazy and then not want to do anything else well those debates can't even happen at this moment because now people are in a position where they they need the support they they need it but even when they get the money they still have to make a decision what am i going to do with the money that i have right now you know and and really it's probably just to get their basic needs met more than likely it's to get their basic needs met food shelter that sort of thing and maybe if they don't have to worry about that then they can go ahead and start thinking about what can i really do to advance my life even more this is this is a time to really reflect and just get to work and, and put aside all that negative self-talk you know and, and and at this moment in time web design and development is is very it's an easier path to entry if you're trying to get into this profession it, it it really is if you're trying to get in the professional web design and development if you wanted to get into software development into coding i think web design and development is the best way to do that it's it's a great barrier it's a great level of entry level area to do so so that means that with this renaissance that we're having that means more opportunities for tech work the barrier to entry will be lowered even more online solutions for not just tech businesses but physical goods businesses in general so let me kind of go back and explain this so more opportunities for tech work well let me read the bullet points and then i'll just speak on everything as a whole overview point website for individuals that are looking for personal business a presence ways to get their own skills and things out the delivery service is about to boom food delivery storage delivery and home goods and more so let me speak on all of these all at once because they play on each other the thing is is that with us being at home and, and companies really having to think about reevaluating their business restructuring it probably not even going back to brick and mortar they're probably going to really now rely on well i'm gonna be a business without walls i'm gonna be a business without borders that i can now just hire people and, and utilize their own personal their own personal items such as my their own cars and everything else to, to get food out to people i could be maybe just cook the food here in this one location and then we just operate and just deliver it out to people everywhere and that's you know that comes with new expenses too thinking about gas and the mileage and everything else but for those people who are thinking about or business owners who are thinking about doing that sort of restructuring they're going to need us they're going to need you and i in order to create systems in order to create an online system not just having a website but having an actual solution that people can use and when you're building a website and I'll, I'll link to my other videos in terms of it's still having a website important but when you're building a website a website is just more than just a website you have to think of it as a solution that's going to provide for people you have to think about the maintenance you have to think about the tech updates the newer technologies the coding technologies is constantly coming out how to keep it up to speed all that you have to think about so much when you have an actual application a website marketing it anything it's just, it's just another product like anything else so those are a lot of things to consider but that means that it's a great time for you now because now more people who are you know who've been doing the offline an offline business or working offline so much now only using the internet and other things to supplement what they're doing now they're going to have to be totally dependent so you're an opportunity to teach to show to demonstrate what people can do in order to make a living and to also build a very advanced skill set because coding and, and design on the web is, is is very it's advanced it's it's easy to get into and it is some certain parts are easy to learn but it's also advanced and that's where it becomes so compartmentalized where you actually have 
you can you can start off learning html and css that's standard layout and design that's how i started but then i moved into learning content management systems i had to learn certain javascript functionalities the, the the syntax that sort of thing if i wanted to execute many other things and most of my learning was project based i picked up a project this project demanded that i learn this skill set i learned that skill set to complete the project i moved on so that involved things like learning photoshop learning adobe illustrator learning things with the pen tool tracing when i wanted to get some logos for a website done because i've had people that needed a website but they also needed a logo and they needed some other graphics so that pushed me to learn certain things in photoshop and adobe illustrator that would help me to solve that problem for that person and it's, it's best on a resume to not just say that you know html css javascript photoshop etc that i mean you could list that as your skill set but that doesn't really mean anything to the business owner how did you use those skills to create a product solve a problem that's what you have to be able to express and you have to be able to put some numbers up behind that i created this logo for a person that when people see it they were able to connect emotionally with it it, it raised the business owner's reputation up by 25 percent it also was able to leave a memorable impression with their customers and that also increased the revenue and business for that business owner so you, you have to think about those things how do using those skill sets allow you to be able to express that to the business owner so that way you could become more valuable you know so what, what we're about to see things in, in terms of the delivery service Right now, I mean, people are going to the stores and stores are getting hectic and it's going to be more of a rise for these delivery solutions that have food. Um, people who want to start a garden right now are getting seeds delivered to them with um, uh, heavensharvest.com, other stuff. And it, this is a, this, you can look at it as a great time. You could look at it as a bad time, you know, and, and that's it's really going to be all about your mindset and how you're looking at it. But we're about to enter a a boom we're about to enter into another phase of life at this moment things are going to get weird we're, we're really seeing epic biblical proportions <laughs> actually going on um, things will in a in a future get appear to get worse and and that's just what it's going to be it's going to be a lot of things to rise at this moment in time but you, we still have a lot of work to do and if you're if i'm talking to you you're a christian right now at this moment you definitely have a lot of work to do because at this moment in time we have to be a light to people who just feel like things are, are never going to get better i just want to leave this planet i can't stand this my normal way of doing life is over and it's just not going to be the same like we you have to be we have to be very diligent and just being able to see that people are hopeful like we can't be in a panic and fear at this moment because god doesn't give us a spirit of fear but he gives us a spirit of of a sound mind and and confidence that's what he gives us you know so um, I, I can't separate right now at this moment in time. It's really hard for me to actually separate the Bible speak from, you know, me talking about this at this moment, because I, for me personally, that's been my foundation. Honestly, it's been my foundation and my peace, you know, because Jesus Christ gives us a peace beyond all understanding for those that believe. That's just the bottom line. And that that's what's been my hopeful eye. So I leave a, I actually have a Christian YouTube channel that you can actually check out. Um, certain things I'll leave a link in the description for that as well but let's go ahead and let's move on okay so I already went over it in the last slide web design development will allow you to transition into other avenues of tech so web design development is not this you know in 1995 it was just AOL times dial up build a simple static website we learn some HTML learn some tables just throw it up there static you're good to go but now we have things such as like react uh, Node.js, building websites on frameworks. We have Wix, Weebly, Square, and and really what's going on is that instead of just building websites, people are using these skills, their ability to do JavaScript, their ability to do PHP. They're they're doing things like contributing to the WordPress community. They're doing things such as like adding and, and building their own frameworks. They're building tools in order to make these things easier. So you, you're going to see a lot more tool building going on rather than just building a website that just displays information and other media. You're going to just see a lot of tool building that will equip people in order to get things done in their day-to-day -day life, especially during times like this. And one thing I want to also say is too, um, and this will be another video more than likely is that don't depend on youtube 
I see a lot of YouTubers just complaining about the AdSense and the algorithm, but that was your fault in the beginning. You know, if you're a YouTuber watching this, I mean, that was ultimately that was your fault. Uh, the, the attitude should have been, you know, oh, this is another income source. Let me capitalize on this and let me figure out how I can actually take the money I'm making from YouTube and make investments. So if anything was to happen to YouTube, boom, I'm still good. But this whole cry, cry baby in. You know, getting on YouTube like, oh, my AdSense just dropped in. This isn't fair. They're not stopping, you know, the, the big media companies from having AdSense. So they're rewarding them. Now, you stop it. Stop it. You know, th this was never your platform. It's not my platform anyway. If anything was to happen to my, my videos, you know, it, yeah, it will hurt because of all the work I put in. But I, I don't, I, I'm not making much money off of YouTube, at, at any money at all, to be honest with you, you know at this moment in time anyway it'll be nice to make some adsense money but i don't even depend on that i've always since youtube's inception i've been developing videos and trying to monetize them through affiliate links uh, referrals that sort of thing you know getting people to sign up to an email missed missed list just based off of the videos that they're watching if they feel like they want to do so and they got some benefit from it that's the that's the approach i was always going with but to depend on AdSense is just, it's always been crazy to me and nuts. This is not, YouTube is not an employer. It's not your job. Some of some of y'all went into this thinking that this was going to be, you know, a, a nice little job for you and that YouTube owes you something that, you know, advertisers or advertising on here for the sake of you as a content creator. And that's not even it at all. That's not even it. When I put some money behind a video and I'm advertising, you know, I want it to be I want it to be on content that's going to match, but I'm not, I didn't make that video for the sake of the content creator or another one. I made it to build more business for myself or maybe a product that I'm trying to refer or whatever the case may be. And that's, that's just what it is. So, you know, it's, it's, I, I just wanted to just kind of throw that in there because I, I just think that's just been crazy anyway. So that's just very, it's building your house on top of sand. That That's not building your house on a rock at all. But in any case, uh, the last few things about web design development, um, it will help you to enter the profession easily and it will give you a profitable skill even in the worst of times. So the, the web design and development, if you don't want to mess with the code, and there are tools out there where you don't have to. and You can actually blend the worlds of development and design together because you now have the tools that what you would have had to learn code before. Now you have the tools which can make it easier for you to be able to, to build functionalities and that sort of thing without actually learning code while designing not just the site but an application user interface whatever have you an online game without learning much code at all it's it's a great time right now in this space at this moment and i personally believe that we are going to enter a renaissance so that's going to be it for this video share it with somebody if you feel like it's going to give them value i know i've probably kind of got all over the place on some of these slides not going to apologize for the bible speak at all just i want everybody i just want to be hopeful and, and definitely be confident that people that things will get better and that your only hope right now at this moment in time if you think your only hope is in your own strength then you know well i mean that's your belief you know at this time and time but my, my only hope is jesus christ I, I will say i won't say your only hope is jesus christ though i believe that my only hope is the lord that's really it so anyway thank you again for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video god bless y'all